Good morning. My name is Shanna Ego. As of 2019, in the U.S. alone, 79% of the population have social media profiles. Since social media was first introduced, the purpose has grown from not only allowing people to communicate with others, but also allowing them to advertise and share information worldwide. With this in mind, I decided to research the question, to what extent has adolescents' dietary eating habits changed due to the content on social media in the current status quo? After taking the time to research, I came to the claim that social media platforms allow for adolescents to change the way they perceive dietary eating habits by having accessible inspiration, advertising all of the alternative food choices, and showing the various benefits alongside eating and living a, health, a healthy lifestyle. This chart displays the current dietary eating habits in the U.S. published by health.gov dietary guidelines. You can see that the intake of necessary foods such as vegetables, fruit, total grains, dairy, protein foods, and oils are substantially lower than what is recommended. And in contrast, the added sugar, saturated fat, and sodium intake is higher than what is recommended. Social media and the movement of ideas states that social media has grown exponentially in the past five years. With this statistic, we can assume that this chart will be changed due to more people being exposed to the content about dietary eating habits on social media. I conducted a survey at my high school asking adolescents questions such as, has social media changed the way you eat or changed the way you view diets in any way? The results came back and 52.3% said yes, 18.2% said sometimes, and the remaining 29.5% said no. This really helped further my research, knowing that the majority of the adolescents that I surveyed actually do believe that social media can change the way their dietary eating habits are. As stated previously, social media has changed from not only allowing people to connect and communicate, but also to promote and advertise. For example, Chobani and MBG Trainings use social media to post pictures and videos of their products to attract customers to buy them. A research study done by the psychology, by the Department of Psychology at Lund University states that adolescents are aware of what's being posted on social media and how it has a direct effect on their food choices and how it, and how it affects their appetite. Many are quick to say no to changing their dietary eating habits because they might not necessarily know what is considered unhealthy and what is considered healthy, and they might not know how to cook but there are social media sites and companies promoting on social media that list the step-by-step -step recipes and the exact ingredients that they use in their meals to make it a smooth transition for individuals to have a healthy dietary eating habit. The urban transformation of the developing world states that by the year of 2030, there will be more urban dwellers than rural ones. And with this statistic, we know that in urban areas, technology is more advanced. So with technology being more advanced in these areas, people will be more exposed to the content about dietary eating habits on social media. There are factors alongside the personal benefits that eating healthier can bring to you. As Julia Westbrook states in her Eating Well article, if every American ate organic foods, this can actually help save the environment around us. For example, Eating, if every American ate two and a half cups of organic vegetables rather than conventional ones, this can actually reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 3.3 million metric tons. And the lasting impact of this is taking 710 cars off of the road annually. With all the benefits that stated that can bring to one personally and the environment around, there are, limita there are implications. So what are these implications? The National Eating Disorder Association states that there is a correlation between the ideal body image posted on social media linked to body dissatisfaction. So a research study done by CNN states that as the time increased on social media also increases the likelihood of adolescent girls developing eating disorders. But again, social media was created to help people commute and communicate and to promote. So there are active sites helping adolescent girls and guys cope with these eating disorders that they have developed. On the whole, 
Social media not only makes people aware of their current dietary habits, but also they make social media makes them aware of how they can change their dietary eating habits for the better. There are benefits that can come to you personally and to the environment around you, and once people start to change their dietary eating habits based on the content, they not only notice what, what it brings to them, but also the environment. Thank you. All right, Shannon, I have two questions for you. First up, um, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and then why'd you choose not to use it? I gathered evidence from, for example, there was a Mirror Mirror organization that stated all of the effects that social media can have on adolescents, especially girls, because of the likelihood, as stated by the CNN research, as time increases on social media, so does the likelihood of adolescent girls to develop eating disorders. And I decided that this wasn't mainly about my research, it was just one implication stated, so I didn't want to express too much on that and I wanted to keep it more on how social media can help you have help your dietary eating habits. Thank you. If you had more time, what additional research would you do? I would do more additional research on the specific types of um, diets that can be used such as vegan, pescatarian, um, vegetarian diets and I didn't focus mainly on these diets because I just express it as a whole, just eating, and as showed by the um, the health.gov dietary guidelines that I use, the chart shows that the healthy foods that are being intaken are substantially lower than what is recommended, and so I just wanted to express that it could be changed by what is posted on social media. You're done.